Right, so just like yesterday, I do apologize if you can hear any background noise, such as the birds. My computer fan is going crazy right now, so you might be able to hear that, but honestly, guys, I cannot help it. I really do apologize. It is so hot today, just like yesterday, and it is, yeah, it's just red out in my room, and so my fan's going crazy, because obviously it needs to cool down my PC, because it's going insane, and uh, I need the window open, just because otherwise it's way too warm. It's like a sauna in here. But yeah, we've got David Villa, we've got Torres, we've got Pedro. Torres is one of my favourite strikers to ever put on a Liverpool shirt, without a doubt. I know he left us for Chelsea, but to be honest, it was... Uh, it, I, feel, I feel like it was the right decision from Liverpool to let him go. It's the season before he left, he, he, was, he was going downhill a little bit. And obviously, when he went to Chelsea, he, just, he wasn't quite the same player. He probably he, he won a lot of trophies. With Chelsea, to be fair, but he just wasn't quite the same player. We've also got David Villa. I'll show you the in-game stats of everyone. 99 attacking position, 99 finishing from David Villa. Not too bad at all. 95 composure, 91 curve. He just he just looks like your typical David Villa card, like especially of old anyway, like your old David Villa cards. He was he was so fun to use back in the day with his four star skills and his five star weak foot. Torres as well. He's got some really really good in game stats. My goodness, 99 shot power, 99 attacking positioning, just fantastic all round. Really, he's better than the premium SBC card we got. I think it was either last year. Yeah, it was last year. We got it. So yeah, it's better than that premium SBC card we got. And we got Pedro. I'm going to be playing at camp. I am going to be changing formation in game. But Pedro doesn't look that bad either. Like his in game stats are pretty nice as well. Good attacking positioning. Good long shots. Decent enough passing. Good enough dribbling. You know, uh, custom tactics. As you can see, they've not changed from the last video. Player instructions obviously reset. So I'm going to be changing formation in game. So I'll show you what I do there. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has for the first game. Why? Why? Why do I have to come up against this? Look at the state of this team. That's that's fantastic. I'll show you guys what I do in game. 4 3 one, two. Pedro's going to be playing Cam. David Villa is on the left. I'm going to have him. I'm going to have Ronaldinho at centre mid. If you guys haven't used Ronaldinho at centre mid, then uh, yeah, you should definitely try him out. He is actually pretty decent. Uh, and Diddy in the middle. Yeah, that is how the team is going to be set out. Player instructions. Getting behind, press back line on the front too. There we go. Stay forward on the cam. Stay back while attacking on the centre, centre mid. Everything else is unbalanced. Let's get into this. This is Division 1 as well. Oh my god. First shot on target, just like yesterday. Torres. Over to Pedro. Pedro back to Torres. Come on, Torres. Oh my god, what a save. My goodness, Torres has been ridiculous this game, but what a save that is by Foreman. Pedro, that's it to Torres, back to Torres, pass it back to Torres, I don't know what is going on man, I, I will take the goal, it was one all, but I passed it back to Torres about three times there, and he just didn't pass to Torres whatsoever, he just kept passing between David Villa and Pedro, but I guess it worked out in the end, it just doesn't make sense that I was trying to pass it over to Torres, beautiful Torres, over to Pedro, drag back, back over to Ronaldinho, Oh, I didn't want it to Torres, but I guess I'll I'll take it. <laughs> that was so strange. These passes just don't I literally played that out wide with Ronaldinho to, to my fullback. I wanted to just go to the go down the wing, put it back post. Uh but instead Ronaldinho's pulled off that pass, which is ridiculous. And that's a fantastic turn by Torres and a great finish. He actually feels really agile in game. I don't know why. I thought he was gonna feel pretty clunky. Like I know he's only he's only got like 89 agility and like 60 something balance, but he feels like really agile and really quick to turn with. Are you serious? No way. I I'm. I what I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> it just oh man oh my god oh my god what a penalty to be fair to him lost 4-2 you can't win them all unfortunately i i felt like i didn't deserve to lose that but you know it is what it is let's get into another game let's go let's see what team this guy has oh he's uh he's got a Liverpool team with Zaha, Nathan Ake and De Gea. Fair enough. Torres. That's it. Beautiful. It's so easy to dribble with this Torres. It's so strange. What a save, by the way. That was by De Gea. 
That's it, beautiful. Torres! Oh my god, as if. Should have probably finished that, Torres. Pedro. That's it, over to David Villa. Beautiful. Let's go, David Villa! Oh, great finish. Great finish with that left foot of his. Just bang into the back of the net. Really nice link up play, actually. I am really enjoying this front three. They both feel, not both, they all feel, sorry. Fantastic, especially Torres and David Villa. David Villa feels really nice and quick, which is what you want from someone who's got 92 pace. But Torres feels so powerful and agile. Are you serious? Are you serious? It was a shoulder to shoulder battle, and Rio Ferdinand won it. And he's given a penalty for it. Are you high, FIFA? Are you honestly high? What the hell was that? Look at that! He wins the shoulder, but I don't understand. If anything, Firmino falls Ferdinand. What is going on? Oh, man. Well played. <sighs> I can't believe that. I can't believe he's given a penalty for that. Torres over to Pedro. Pedro, finish it. Get in there. My goodness. This is so stupid. I should be like 5-1 up. I don't understand this game. I just don't get it. I don't get it. What is going on, man? I, it, it's not passing to the players I want to. I'm trying not to complain. But my god, this game. There's something wrong with it. There really is. I, I hope I can get back into this. And that's a GG. Torres. Come on. Let's get a consolation goal at least. I'll take the consolation goal. I don't think I'm going to get back into it. I feel like this guy's just going to pass it around the back. 4-3. Uh, yeah, guess you can't win them all. Oh, you guys think I'm kidding when I say that I concede four goals from four shots on target. Look at the state of that. It's every single game, guys. And you wonder, like, people wonder why I complain. Why, why is it I can have nine shots on target? Look at where all my shots are from as well. Look at where they are from. Most of them, in fact, half of them are inside the box. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I complain. Because why the hell is my goalkeeper not saving a thing whatsoever? This game is way too inconsistent. It really is. Let's see what team this guy has for the last and final game. It's not too bad, but it is still a really good team. I am, I'm so done, honestly, guys. Like after that last game, I am really disappointed. Like. I just don't feel like I deserve to lose that. David Villa. Come on. Over to Torres. Torres win that header. Nice flick on. Pedro. Oh, so close. David Villa. Yes. I don't know how he's managed to get that rebound. But my goodness. What a strike. He put so much power in that. Oh, man. It's a good goal. Oh, today's video is not going to plan, guys. It's really not. I I can't win a game. This guy's a good player. David Villa. Pedro, I will I will take that. I don't think I'm going to win this game. I don't even think I'm going to get back into it. I've gone attacking. I've gone high pressure. I'm probably going to concede another one. Every shot goes in. Every single shot. <laughs> what is the penalty for? Oh my god, man. What is going on? And it's a GG. 5 2. <sighs> how. I read the pass. I read the pass. I read the pass. What? I can't look. Huh? What? I. What? <laughs> well, I, I literally couldn't move my defenders. I couldn't move my defenders. Well, 7 2. I can't even say that I didn't deserve to lose that one. I lost by five goals. That guy was a lot better, like, was a way better player than I was. 
But um, there was so there were some things though, like there were some things going on with my where I couldn't control my defenders. For example, it literally wouldn't let me move with my defenders. I don't know whether my controller's broken, but uh, yeah, it, it, there was some shenanigans going on, and so it's a bit disappointing. I feel like that this guy had like yeah, it, it's shooting stats, man. He had 10 shots and scored 7 goals. That is insane. So let's try and be a bit more positive, shall we? Despite losing all 3 games, which, by the way, I think is the first time I've ever lost all 3 games on a video. Which is pretty upsetting, to be honest. But it is what it is. And I feel like 2 of the players I played against were definitely better than me. But 1 of the games I don't think I deserve to lose. Not all... So, yeah, these three players, despite losing all three games, were pretty good. I know I didn't really get to show off much, which I'm really upset by, to be honest. That's probably the main thing why I'm a bit upset. It's just because I didn't really get the chance to to go all out with these players and score a lot of goals. David Villa, he got three assists and two goals in three games, which these records, by the way, on these players aren't going to look that great. Because, like I said, I just couldn't score as many goals as I wanted to because the players I was playing against were really, really good. So, yeah, his in-game, though, is fantastic. That acceleration, you could definitely tell he's got that. So, to be fair, majority of these stats, I would say, uh, are fantastic, pretty much. Because passing-wise, do you know what? Passing is probably, like, his weakest point, but it doesn't feel that bad. Attacking positioning-wise, shooting-wise, finishing-wise, excellent. I didn't really get too many chances with him, though. Like I said, the players I was playing against were really good, and they were really good defensively. So unfortunately, I just couldn't create the chances that I wanted to create. So I, I, all I can say is that the chances he did get, he managed to put in the back of the net. And his shot power feels insane. It really does. It feels like 99. Passing wise, like I said, it's, his weak, it's one of his weakest points as well as his physical. But it doesn't feel that bad. Dribbling wise, do you know what? This is the pro... I have a bit of a problem with his dribbling. I'm going to be honest. I just couldn't take it past players. And it's partly to do with... His, his agility and balance not feeling that great. Like, he still feels agile and stuff, but he doesn't feel... He doesn't feel super agile, and so he doesn't feel as good at dribbling as what I thought he was going to feel. And he is so weak, by the way. That 74 strength, 75 aggression is an absolute lie. He gets pushed off the ball so easily. And so, it is a bit of a... It's a bit of a card killer, to be honest. Considering he's playing striker... You need to have a bit of strength in that striker position. And he just didn't quite have that. He got pushed up the ball very, very easily. But he does have four-star skills, five-star weak foot. So I wouldn't really worry too much about it. Pedro, he, he was a pretty solid card. He was probably the worst out of the three. Even though he's got more goals than both Torres and David Vera, I think. He was still the worst of the three, I would say. He just, he just doesn't feel as good in game. He feels really quick. And his dribbling feels nice and stuff like that. But uh, his passing, it doesn't seem as good as what his stats would suggest, in my opinion. And also, he's just as weak as David Villa. He loses the ball extremely easily. Like, if anyone just, like, sneezes on him, he loses the ball. But, yeah, his passing was a bit off for me, and I don't know why. I, I tried I tried different sort of passes, you know, driven passes and stuff like that. It just wasn't quite working for me in that camp position. I think it might have been mainly his strength because when he got pressured, it felt like he was losing the ball. And so when I tried to obviously play a pass, it must have affected the pass. But it, it was an okay card, Pedro. Nothing special in my opinion. Torres was the best of the lot. I know he's probably got, he's got a worse record than David Villa. But Torres was the best, if you ask me. He just feels like... A level above in game he feels super powerful feels really really quick he feels really agile as well he actually feels more agile than both Pedro and David Villa like he feels better to dribble with in game and to be fair I've always just realized he's got 97 ball control 98 dribbling that might have been part of to why his dribbling felt so good but yeah he, he did feel like the better of the the three pretty much so positioning wise finishing wise I can't really like I said I couldn't really get in the positions too much to, to try and finish with him because the guys I was playing against were really good defensively. But the chances he did get, he put in the back of the net. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Shot power-wise, 99. You're not going to have a problem but with that. Passing-wise, his long passing is a bit of an issue, I would say that. Uh, quick one-twos, he's absolutely fine with. But anything more than that, I would say it's a bit of an issue, his passing. 
but it doesn't kill the card. Dribbling wise, as I've already said, he feels really agile, he feels really nice to dribble with, and he feels better out of the free to dribble with. And to be fair, physical wise, he's an absolute monster. He holds onto the ball so well, he's so powerful when he's running through on goal, and he wins a lot of headers from goal kick. It's just a pity that I lost all three games in today's video because otherwise I'd probably be a bit more positive. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, Twitter's always down in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.